In this week's Joe's Kitchen, we are talking about a little bit of an Asian flavor dish here. We're going to do some pineapple chicken today. Already got the chicken inside the pan, did that already, and then chopped it up. And what I did is I actually took some avocado oil, put it into my pan with some chicken breast that was seasoned with just salt and pepper. That's it. Uh, and then let it sear, flipped it and let it sear again and cook it, then chopped it up into small bite sizes. So that's what's already in the pan right now. Of course, we're talking pineapple chicken, so we're going to have we are going to have? Pineapple in there, right? So let's go ahead and kind of show off the ingredients, which is the pineapple right here. This is kind of the tidbits pineapple that I just took right out of the can and drained it. But we're going to put fresh pineapple juice. Well, fresh as it can be, right? But instead of a syrup, we're going to put pineapple juice into it versus just a sugary syrup. Green onions over there. Hoisin sauce is going to be in here. And if you've never had that before, it's kind of sweet. It's kind of on a tangy side, too. Don't think barbecue sauce, but sweet and tangy with Asian flavor. And of course, with this other dish, we're also gonna go throw in here a little bit of some brown sugar. We're gonna throw in some of that sweet onion, red bell pepper, and a little bit there of some chicken broth. And this is what garlic, or it's not garlic, excuse me, <laughs> ginger looks like. At that, uh, you can buy it, you know, in a can or a, a shaker, if you will, that's ground up and dried, but uh, Fresh ginger is always the good way to go there. And we'll throw some garlic powder in here. So what we did just now is went ahead and put the chicken broth in there. We're gonna get that up to temperature. And we're also gonna throw in uh, the other, just other ingredients. It's really all, all you do from here is just start mixing things. So pineapple, of course. So we're gonna put a little bit of pineapple in there. Very good citrus. And of course, it's gonna really kind of give you that opposite. You got the sweet and tangy with the hoisin, but then you have the, you know, the citrusy flavor with the pineapple. Soy sauce is also gonna go in here. Of course, there's not many Asian dishes out there that don't have at least some kind of soy sauce in it. We'll throw in some garlic powder, but I would recommend actually using garlic cloves with this uh, and to get them in a little bit of the oil. But for timing purposes, we're just gonna continue to go with the garlic powder. So you can see here, we're getting a little bit now of a, of a sauce in there with the chicken broth and the soy sauce. Now for that more pineapple flavor, we're gonna do probably at least one of these cans here of pineapple juice. So we'll throw that in there and there you go. Hoisin sauce, again, sweet flavor, a little on the tangy side uh, and it comes, there's all kind of brands out there. This is just the brand I've got. And we'll do uh, probably about half a cup of the sauce. So there we go. That's what we're gonna throw in there. Put it back onto the tray. A little more of a sweet flavor. So let's throw in there a little bit of brown sugar. So we'll throw that. And of course, brown sugar, it's quickly gonna melt. We'll put the onion in there. If you don't want onion, that's fine. Don't worry about it. And then we're also gonna throw in one red bell pepper. I love red bell pepper. Of course, I like any bell pepper, period. But red goes really good with the flavor profile that we are creating here. So uh, take a time, stir everything together to make sure everything starts to get coated evenly. Of course, you've got that brown sugar that's also in there. So you want to make sure you're getting that evenly distributed throughout the sauce that you are beginning to make. Now what we're gonna do is take that ginger, which I've already grated. So here is the fresh ginger, very easy to use. You can just take a spoon, you can take a butter knife and you just kind of sit there and go against it, the edge. Look at that, even just my nail is taking off the little bit of skin. Then you just take your grater and grate it and put you some ginger in there. So once you're all done, that is what your ginger looks like, your fresh grated ginger. That's gonna be about a tablespoon of that. Now all we're gonna do again is just continue to mix everything Everything. And what I want to happen now is a little bit of a simmer with my sauce. So you can kind of see some of that steam is coming off right now. So we're not too far away for making this into a sauce. Again, evenly distributing everything, especially now that we've added that ginger, which has a really good bite. So don't use too much of that ginger. It has a good bite to it. Uh, so now what we're going to do kind of pat everything down. Watch it here. Now the next step is you're going to take uh, some cornstarch in cold water. And if you, if you let it sit there for a while, it will actually settle back down into the bottom of the container that you are using. So just make sure you kind of give it a really good stir before you pour it in. And the key here is getting your, what is to be your sauce hot, which you can see we're already kind of starting to get some bubbles in there with the cold water. So once you do that, it doesn't take much cornstarch either. Just pour in just a little bit. If you need more later, that's fine. Don't worry about it. 
just if you overdo it, you're kind of done. And it's really cool how cornstarch works. You can kind of see we had just a lot of liquid, but you'll notice this will quickly really start to thicken up. So once your sauce is made, it's to the thickness that you like, which we're already starting to see here. You can serve it with a side of rice, which I have chosen jasmine rice, and put it into a container so that it has a nice little shape to it. Jasmine rice is about the same as white rice, just a little bit more flavor uh, and fragrance to it. So we're going to put it onto a dish, top it with some green onion. Ron tries out the pineapple chicken here in a couple of minutes. <laughs> 